This is a quick demo of the ViewSpecs Click offline field report capability. I'm logged into the ViewSpecs Click dashboard as an inspector, and I'm going to move up to the settings gear icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen and click that. Then I'm going to move down to where it says offline field report and click on that to get started. Uh, next, I'm going to enter a permit, so I'm going to enter BLD 03, and I'm going to paste in an address. Uh, I've added Jack Bell as a uh, field agent to this account, so I've got him selected. Otherwise, you can select other field agents that you've already added to your organization. Uh, you can leave the uh, notifications enabled just as they are, and then click Submit when ready. Now you'll see this window pops up here that says offline notifications have been enabled. Uh, and the if we move over to, I can hit OK on that. And then if we move over to the phone, you'll see that on my phone it says Rockford Inspections Incorporated. Jim Rockford has requested you to submit a field report for record BLD-03 and it gives the address. It uh, instructs me to log into ViewSpecs Go, click on a new field report to begin. So I'm gonna minimize my text message window and I have ViewSpecs Go installed. Uh, this is available in the App Store for, for uh, iOS and Android. I can click on that to get started. Once I'm in, I can uh, tap on this new field report button in the upper right corner and then simply give this a name. Uh, for this case, I'm just going to type uh, BLD-03, hit next. And at this point, I'd like to grab some photos and video, so I'm gonna add a photo. And all of this part you're seeing now, uh, you do not need an internet connection for. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a shot out of the back patio here, and then hit this green check mark to save that. Then I can take a quick video if I want as well. Uh, video segments are limited to uh, 15 seconds or so currently. And I'll just click this record button again to end recording. Limited to, uh, 15 and I'll save that by so. clicking the green check mark. And when I'm done, hit the done link right here in the lower left. So now I'm back to the uh, report steps here. So I'm going to go ahead and click next step after I have all the photos and videos that I need. And then you can type in a quick description here, BLD-03, next step. Uh, now I've got my agency selected at the top. Uh, if, you, if that agency isn't the organization name uh, of your company, then you can click that window to select the correct one. I'm just going to type in my permit number, which is given to me, BLD-03. That's the uh, number that was submitted by the inspector and received on the contractor's text message. So it'll search for that really quickly, hit confirm and then select this virtual inspections offline field report here from the list, hit confirm, and now next step. Lastly, we'll just save and finalize this report, confirm, and when we're ready to send, we can send that. So at this point, of course, you do need an internet connection. It will remind you that right here, and you'll go ahead and hit send now. Wait for the photos and the uh, video to upload, and in just a moment, we'll be all set. All right, so the field report was submitted. I can click on this main menu button to go back there, and you'll see with BLD-03, you have a green check mark, which means uh, the uh, person at the site has now submitted that, sent it to the inspector. I can check my email here on the inspector side, and I've received an email verifying that that was sent to me. And the email also includes an inspection summary report, which I can click on here. Uh, you have all the information at the top here, we can customize the ViewSpecs virtual inspection label to be any brand whatsoever. Uh, so I'll scroll down and I see that the location address matches the actual location. So we grab the GPS coordinates to verify the location of that photo was taken at the address that the inspector uh, submitted inside of the ViewSpecs Click dashboard. I can click this full resolution image here to see a larger shot of that if I need to. And I can scroll down and I can click on this link for the video, which downloads the video to my computer. I can open that video and take a quick look at that. Segments are limited as well. So there's the video that I took. And getting back to the report, there's that's about it. There's nothing at the bottom there. Uh, so back to the click dashboard. Uh, you'll see that if I refresh my screen here, you'll see that this 8834 ID. There's a date and a timestamp here. 
Uh, this is their phone number and the uh, contractor, the person in the field, is their name right there. It, uh, it says offline field report so that I know that there's a new one that's been submitted. And uh, I can actually download that report as well from here. It says it's been emailed to me, which I did receive uh, in my inspector email. And now I can simply click this if I need to download it again at any time. So you can click that window. It will download the same inspection report to your computer. So if you missed your email or you weren't, uh, you, you for some reason couldn't find your email, you can always just re-download that right here from the dashboard. Uh, so thank you. That's a quick look at the offline field report capability for ViewSpecs Click.